Hello, I'm Dale Kislik, and I'm excited to bring you another video. Uh, this video um, is about winter snow shelters. Yeah. <laughs> No, Push from inside. I uh, was very fortunate to have been asked to come and instruct at uh, Karamat Wilderness Ways uh, 2018 uh, winter course. So we're out here in the Boreal Forest. Uh, we've got uh, 15 students from around the world. And so in this video, you're going to get to see uh, some of our creations. If you want to know more about the uh, Karamat Winter Course, go to karamat.com and don't forget to, to have a look at uh, our website, naturelifeprograms.com and check out all the things that we have going on there too. Before we begin with the snow shelters, it's important to understand how to ensure that you have snow conditions that work well enough to be able to cut durable snow blocks like the ones you see in this clip. There's two ways that you can get the snow that will form great snow blocks. Number one, you will need to find a spot with very deep snow drifts where the wind has consistently blown and consolidated the snow crystals into a strong and solid snow drift. Unfortunately, deep, well-formed snowdrifts are somewhat difficult to locate and they rarely occur in places that you want them to occur. Unless, of course, you're in the mountains or the far north. Number two, if you have deep snow, at least knee-deep or deeper, you can compact the snow well enough to simulate the formation of snowdrifts, which will in turn consolidate the snow crystals together and allow you to cut durable snow blocks. This is the method I use most often, and it's the method we use to build all the snow shelters in this video. Here are a couple of photos illustrating this simple process. We have an area where the wind has blown a good depth of snow up against this wooden retaining wall. I simply used my snowshoes to stamp down in a large area repeatedly until I was satisfied that I'd crushed the snow enough to pack the snow crystals together. The next step is to let the compacted snow set up for at least three hours or more so that the snow really cements together and becomes durable for the next step, which is cutting blocks. So now that we know how to compact the snow so that we can cut and gather usable snow blocks, it's time to move on with building the igloo. Now, building an igloo entirely from snow is actually quite challenging and requires a lot of experience before you really get it perfected. For me, I had to attempt to build three or four snow igloos before I finally managed to get it right. It's actually quite difficult to successfully build a nice dome-shaped igloo without all the snow blocks falling in and collapsing the igloo. Practice makes perfect. So for this video, we are building a modified igloo using the method developed by Morris Kohansky. The Morris Kohansky igloo is built by incorporating a wooden framework so that the snow blocks can be rested upon that framework to quickly build the igloo. First of all, you'll have to gather approximately 20 long slender saplings, or as we call them, wideys. Uh, stab them into the snow and bend the saplings into a dome shape, securing the structure by winding them together. Then add more saplings at various angles to increase the strength and shape. You can make this dome to whatever shape and size you want. For the shelter in this video, we've incorporated a raised sleeping platform made from snow blocks inside the igloo so that we could demonstrate how to build a true cold sink area into a shelter. Most snow shelters will work much better and be a great deal warmer if you are able to work or build a cold sink into the design. Basically, the sleeping or living platform inside the shelter should be at an elevation that is 10 to 30 centimeters above the top of the entranceway. In so doing, the colder air in the shelter will sink and settle in the cold sink near the ground and the sleeping and living activities will occur higher up in the shelter where the warmer air is trapped. 
If you're lucky enough to have very deep snow or a very deep snow drift, you could effectively build your igloo and incorporate a cold sink right into the igloo rather than having to build a platform like we are in this video. After that, it's time to start uh, putting the blocks on the igloo. It's nice if you're careful at cutting your blocks to a good squared shape. Uh, it, and then it's just basically like filling in a puzzle and you, you work your way around the shelter, lay the blocks in nice and careful and cover it right to the top. The wood structure will support and hold your blocks up very well. Then it's just a matter of chinking all of the uh, gaps or cracks with little uh, pieces of snow. You can even take a shovel and throw snow up over top of the shelter to seal off all the little cracks. So is this going to be your shelter today? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For this igloo, uh, we decided to cut the door in later. So as you can see, we piled up some snow on the side and we'll carve our door into that pile. And there it is, doing some finishing work on the inside. And that's our door. Uh, we then took some uh, blocks and created a doorway and chinked the holes, covered it with some snow as you can see. So here's a look at the inside of the igloo. So you can see I'm sitting in the cold sink. There's our raised platform, which you would get up and sleep in. And that will keep you up in the uh, higher in the igloo where the warmer air sits and the cold air will sit down low in the cold sink and doorway area. Those cracks may look like openings, but they are actually sealed with snow. So you're now inside a windproof structure and there I am sitting inside the cold sink. So this shelter ended up looking uh, not perfectly dome-like. It ended up that the snow blocks actually squeezed it and made it kind of a, have a sharper, higher peak than we would have liked. But so it goes. And here's a look uh, at nighttime. We've got a light inside there, and that's pretty cool. Okay. Next, we'll uh, look at the A frame snow trench and how that's built. <laughs> We're just having a quick look inside the finished project. <laughs> 